Hey there, it's Nick again from Final Cut Pro Tutorials and in this uh, episode, um, it's not really so much a tutorial on how to make this, although I will cover one later, but um, this is how you can edit the project file. Um, it's downloadable from my blog, that's um, finalcutprotutorials.wordpress.com and from there you can download this project file, open it up in Motion 5 and you'll be able to edit it yourself. Um, so basically it's a map. Um, we've got a camera, we've got some lights, and uh, we scroll around the map and we draw a path between one location and the next. So all I'm going to show you here basically is how we can customize this for your own use. So at the moment I'm showing a route between um, Manila and Tokyo, but let's say we wanted to change this to somewhere else. Let's say we want to go instead to um, Delhi in India. Uh, so over here you can see how I've arranged the project we've got our two lights which are producing the um, shadows so those lights are set to um, cast shadows uh, so we can either turn shadows on or off so I have to turn that off you see our shadows disappear I turn them back on we get our shadows again um, the shadow effect being applied to the Bezier curve is actually coming from a drop shadow rather than um, from the lights but I'm, instead of using drop shadows I'm using the lights to produce the shadows on the text because as the camera pans around our um, shadows will also move in accordance with the light source so it just makes it a little bit um, more believable so um, if we expand this group here you can see we've got uh, map points which are our map points here we have our path, which is the Bezier curve, and we have the base map, which is just a vector image of um, a map of the world, which I got off of Google. So um, if we're going to go to a different place, let's first of all switch to our front view, and we're going to move um, our map points. So we select the map point we want to move, which will be this one, and we'll move it to our new location which is going to be somewhere around here Delhi in India so then we're going to want to move our text instead of Tokyo we're going to want to drag this down here and we're going to want to edit it to so double click on it and we'll change this to Delhi Okay, now one other thing I want to do is change our text size a little bit. So um, we'll come into our text in our inspector um, format and our text size. Okay. So now we're um, basically done with, with that. The next thing we need to do is edit our, our curve. Um, so we'll open up our path group, go to our Bezier, and here you want to press and hold down and choose edit points. I'm going to drag the control point down to our new location here, which is Delhi. Now you can see I'm getting this yellow um, snap bar coming up. That sometimes is useful, but in this in this case maybe not. So if you hold down the command key. You can drag this around and it will temporarily just disable snapping so we can position this exactly where we want it. And there we go, that's it. Now I may want to just move our manila text a little bit out of the way of the path. So I'll just reposition that, adjust it a little bit. And there we go. So we'll switch back now to our active camera. Now though when we run this animation, our, um, we may want to edit the, the camera track a little bit. You see we're a little bit zoomed out, I want to be a little bit closer in on there. So we'll open up our keyframe editor, that's this button over here, show our hide keyframes. And you can see here then, these are the keyframes for our camera. So I can delete that um, final keyframe we'll go to our first one and let's reposition 
where we want to be. We'll zoom in just a tad as well. Okay, and then our final position we'll see is uh, 40 frames before our um, um, line is finished being drawn. So we'll turn on our record button and we'll pan the camera around to our new location. Something like that. So now if we play this animation And there we go. So that's basically how you can customize this um, world map to your to your own use. Um, you can download this motion project file from my blog. Um, the address is on the screen now. So just head over there, and you can um, find all of the files for um, various um, projects. It's free for you to download. You can use it in your own. Um, videos yourself. Uh, one final thing, you may want to edit the, the, the colors. Um, so in our base map here, if you open up uh, the map, we've got a color correction filter. You can choose the, the color you want here, so you can just customize it to fit whatever style you want. So you can edit the colors there. Um, so thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this useful and don't forget to follow me on my YouTube channel so you can keep up to date with all of the latest tutorials. Um, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.